in this video, I will be sharing with you a Come Follow Me lesson from the Book of Mormon in the hopes that you can use this video in your own homes to enhance your family's home-based Come Follow Me study. Throughout the video, feel free to pause at your convenience and discuss. You can also read in your own scriptures, and I encourage you to mark them up yourself. I hope this video helps your family, and if it does, please like and subscribe and share with your friends. On to the lesson. Imagine one day you wake up in the middle of the wilderness with a survival guide and a note that you will be picked up in a week at a local homestead. Quick, write down at least five things you would need to learn from your survival guide. What did you learn from your survival guide and why? How will your survival guide help you find your way back home? Listen to what our prophet, President Russell M. Nelson said about a survival guide for your life. Few things build faith more than does regular immersion in the Book of Mormon. No other book testifies of Jesus Christ with such power and clarity. Its prophets, as inspired by the Lord, saw our day and selected the doctrine and truths that would help us most. The Book of Mormon is our Latter-day Survival Guide. What did President Russell M. Nelson say? The Book of Mormon is. Dun, dun, dun. How are the doctrine and the truths you find in the scriptures helping you survive spiritually? Can you think of any recent examples? Amid all the contention recorded in Heliman chapters 1 through 6, there were temporary moments of peace. Many thousands were baptized into the church, and the church prospered, and the Nephites and Lamanites lived in unity as both groups turned to the Lord. Mormon often paused his narration of Nephite history to highlight important doctrine and principles of truth. He did this by using the statement, Thus we see. Let's read Helaman chapter 3, verses 27 to 30 together. Thus we may see that the Lord is merciful unto all who will, in the sincerity of their hearts, call upon his holy name. Yea, thus we see that the gate of heaven is open unto all, even to those who will believe on the name of Jesus Christ, who is the Son of God. Yea, we see that whosoever will may lay hold upon the word of God, which is quick and powerful, which shall divide asunder all the cunning and the snares and the wiles of the devil, and lead the man of Christ in a straight and narrow course across that everlasting gulf of misery, which is prepared to engulf the wicked and land their souls, yea, their immortal souls, at the right hand of God in the kingdom of heaven, to sit down with Abraham and Isaac and with Jacob and with all our holy fathers, to go no more out. Identify the thus we see statements of truth and record them in your own words in your study journal. Share the truths that you found and how you translated them into modern speech. Which of these truths are most powerful or important in your opinion? What would this look like? Helaman chapter 6, verses 34 to 36. And thus we see that the Nephites did begin to dwindle in unbelief and grow in wickedness and abominations, while the Lamanites began to grow exceedingly in the knowledge of their God. Yea, they did begin to keep his statutes and commandments and to walk in truth and uprightness before him. And thus we see that the Spirit of the Lord began to withdraw from the Nephites because of the wickedness and the hardness of their hearts. And thus we see that the Lord began to pour out His Spirit upon the Lamanites because of their easiness and willingness to believe in His words. Try identifying the, thus we see, statements of truth and record them in your own words in your study journal. Share the truths that you found and how you translated them into modern speech. Which of these truths are most powerful or important in your opinion? How do we lose the spirit compass in our lives? How do we receive more of the spirit compass to guide us? And thus we see that the Lord began to pour out his spirit upon the Lamanites because of their easiness and willingness to believe in his words. The Lord is merciful to all who call upon him with sincere hearts. See Helaman chapter 3 verse 27. The gate of heaven is open to all who believe in Jesus Christ. See Helaman chapter 3 verse 28. Anyone who desires can study the word of God which will lead them to the kingdom of God. See Helaman chapter 3, verses 29 through 30. The better we know God, the more likely we are to keep His commandments, 
See Helaman chapter 6, verse 34. If we are wicked and harden our hearts, then the Spirit of the Lord will withdraw from us. See Helaman chapter 6, verse 35. If we choose to willingly believe in the Lord's words, then he will pour out his Spirit upon us. See Helaman chapter 6, verse 36. Choose one of the truths you found and list some of the spiritual dangers, challenges, or attacks on faith that this truth can help you survive. Write how to survive and finish the statement with one of the dangers, challenges, or attacks you listed. Explain in drawings or words how this truth can help you survive spiritually. Incorporate at least two of the following ideas into your survival guide. Why this truth can help someone spiritually survive the difficulty you listed other scriptures that relate to this truth or help with the difficulty you listed, how this truth brings you or others to Jesus Christ or helps you receive his strength. What could happen to people if this truth is not known or not followed? How the world would change if everyone chose to live by this truth?
please share your answers in the comments below. Listen to the promises our prophet, President Russell M. Nelson, shared on how the Book of Mormon can be a daily survival guide for your life. My dear brothers and sisters, I promise that as you prayerfully study the Book of Mormon every day, you will make better decisions every day. I promise that as you ponder what you study, the windows of heaven will open and you will receive answers to your own questions and direction for your own life. I promise that as you daily immerse yourself in the Book of Mormon, you can be immunized against the evils of the day, even the gripping plague of pornography and other mind-numbing addictions. I really hope you enjoyed that lesson video with your family, and I look forward to your comments and feedback below. Our goal on this channel is to unleash the power of your family and to help you to have better Come Follow Me discussions with your little ones, your big ones, and even with the adults. Please like, subscribe, and share these videos with others you know that may enjoy their own Come Follow Me home-based study. Now let's go gather Israel.